Hello, it's about um, quarter past five on Saturday. I've already uploaded a blog this morning, so this will probably be episode 18, the next one. Um, just left Liz at the hospital. She's doing really well. Um, she's had her catheter out today. And um, basically, uh, means she's got to go to the toilet every couple of hours, but it's good. It's good exercise for her to get out of bed. and. She's practically sprinting to the loo with her walker, so that's really cool. Um, she seems happy, you know. They're confident she won't need a wheelchair when she comes home. Um, but obviously I'm gonna to have to help her walk around downstairs, get her upstairs, still might need a stair lift, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, I don't wanna repeat stuff I've said before. I get the feeling I do that quite a lot on this blog anyway. I wonder how many people watch every episode. Not even I do that. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going home. Going to have a little rest, a little sleep in the bed, see if the cats will join me. Um, yeah. Hello. You all right? Yeah. I do a vlog. Magic car, magic car. No, no magic car today. <clears throat> Every time I pull out of this uh, hospital car park, nine times out of 10, a fucking car just appears from nowhere, approaching me at speed from that corner. And it's like, it's like it's been dumped from orbit. I call it magic car. Um, but uh, I think they've cottoned on whoever they are. I don't know who they are, some kind of conspiracy. I don't know. Someone's cottoned on to the fact that I've noticed this now and they've stopped doing it quite so often. But you know, where, where there was no car, there is suddenly a car at speed coming around the corner to fuck up my manoeuvre. Hello, by the way, it's um, <clears throat> Sunday afternoon. It's uh, about 20 to five, not that anybody really cares. Welcome to this today's edition of First World Problems. So I got up today, um, having been told that my builder would be coming between nine and 10 this morning to do some final finishing works and um, got a message from him uh, after I'd done all the cat litter, which is one of my things to do this week, you know, sorted the house out, etc., to say, oh no, can we make it between two and three? Um, I mean, okay, you know, he's got a life, he's got, prob he's got his own issues, you know, that kind of thing. But um, anyway, um, I said, fine. Um, so I went to visit Liz early at the hospital. She wasn't expecting me because I told her that I would have to wait for the builder. And I said to the builder, well, you can let yourself in, but I'll come back when you're back. He hasn't turned up today. I'm getting pissed off, if I'm honest with you, because we will now soon, tomorrow we will be into week five of the upstairs build week eight in total. I want people out of my house. I want my key back and I'm not having people going into my house when I'm off out doing things this week. It's now cutting into my holiday, cutting into my time off. And if he doesn't come back to fit, sort it tomorrow, I'm making a proper complaint because this is taking the piss now. Um, you know, what is annoying me is that my entire life appears to be having to fit around everybody else. I'm always having to fit around other people's um, routines or schedules. It's never my schedule that takes priority. When do I get, when do I get a turn? When does my fucking schedule take priority? You know, I'm having a whinge. I know you don't watch this to watch me whinge, or maybe you do, I don't know, but you probably don't watch it at all. If I'm honest with you. Um, anyway, I've had a very pleasant afternoon with Liz. Um, she, can get up on a walker and go to the toilet. Uh, she sat in a chair for a while, although she had a major sort of coughing fit and was bringing up loads of stuff out of her throat for absolutely ages. I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm trying to help the nurse where I can, getting equipment ready and stuff, but I'm not trained to actually do the suctioning. I've said, can you train me how to do that? And they said they would. There's a possibility she might have to come home and I might have to do it, you know? Um, this is kind of why I want this week to relax, not worry about other stuff, 
Liz is in the right place, the building works are done, there's nothing more I can do at home at the moment until the occupational therapy people come. You know, if I need to add, install more grab handles or rails or whatever they need, then I will do that then. But I just want, I want a week where I don't have to worry. And what's annoying me is that I've got people coming tomorrow as it is, an electrician coming who's gonna reorganize my whole house because that's apparently what electricians are fucking told to do. A painter coming at some point, he's a very nice man and you know I've no doubt he'll do the job very quickly and without troubling me. But the building works aren't finished and I've still got a bedroom full of bathroom stuff that I can't put away yet because A, I don't want Mr. Electrician reorganizing it all for me, which, as I keep saying, is apparently what they fucking do. And B, I don't want it getting in his way while he's doing the work. And C, I don't want it getting dirty while he's drilling holes or screwing things into walls and what have you. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, I'm still in this situation where the house isn't fully ready. And I've got a long list of other things to do, you know? I wish it would stop raining so that I could do some weeding. I wish it would stop raining so that I could actually edge the lawns, but apparently we're not allowed to have a day without rain um, or, or a weekend without a storm. Um, like I say, another storm this weekend. It's just annoying the ever-loving shit out of me. Um, and that's basically where we are at the moment. Lizzie's mum can't visit her today. She's not very well. I mean, <clears throat> when, when I was, when Liz was at her mum's for those six days, there were a couple of days that I wasn't feeling very well and I didn't think it would be a good idea to go and visit her. So I know exactly what she feels like, you know. Um, I did go and see Liz uh, a couple of weeks ago where I had a stinking cold, but I just made sure I wore a mask and I only stayed for half an hour because I was in a bad mood anyway. So, you know, I, I tried to stay with Liz as long as I could today, but being told you're going to get a builder in yes it's a Sunday but he offered I didn't ask him he offered but being told you're going to get someone in for them not to turn up having rearranged the time is particularly annoying um, and I'm getting fed up of my life fitting around other people's schedules when does when does my schedule get a look in when do I get a priority do I not deserve a break I've got enough crap going on at the moment in my life you know my family's falling apart. Anthony's got his own problems. My wife's got her problems. You know, it's just kind of, can somebody just give me a break and do something when I want it done for a change? I don't even know if I'll publish this vlog, to be honest with you. It's just me being very bitter and angry and annoyed. <sighs> oh well. I'm gonna go home, engage in my favorite pastime, having a lie down. I tried to do that yesterday. Alice lost her front door. Well, no. yeah, a while ago, Alice lost her front door key. I actually found it this week in my car. It's been here for a while, obviously. Anyway, I went to all the trouble of cutting her a new key, putting a bright yellow lanyard on it, saying to her, never leave the house without a key, installing a key safe outside, giving her the combination, putting another key in there. What do I get when I'm lying down yesterday? Knock, knock, knock text message can you let me in please the key isn't working for fuck's sake right so I get up so number one she's taken the yellow lanyard off the key so now she can't tell what key is which and as a result she's using the wrong key in the front door well it's not going to work is it because the whole point of keys is you need the right one right didn't even think to use the key safe either so basically another sleep of mine interrupted when I'd gone to all this trouble to avoid being interrupted, having a lay down and sleeping. I like laying down, I like sleeping. It's my favorite pastime at the moment, you know? Anyway, um, if you're watching this, Alice, I never want that to happen again. I cannot emphasize how much I value my rest time, my laying down time and my sleep time. Yeah? Sorry to whinge, but that's the way it is. Oh God, I'm in a bad mood today, aren't I? I'm actually not in a bad mood, I'm actually okay. I'm just upset about a number of things. And again, this whole fitting around other people thing. When do people fit around me? So tomorrow, if this stuff isn't done, I'm going to kick off. I'm going to make a proper complaint uh, because it's not acceptable. 
and I just want the works finished with so that I can have a bit of relaxation time before I go back to work and before we have to start thinking about, you know, chasing up these genetic tests, what might result from that, and then at some point, hopefully Liz coming home. Shortly after I got home and my rant earlier in the car, at six minutes past five, the builder did arrive. I don't know where that sudden bout of poetry came from. I was literally making it up as I went along. He's done. Well, there's a big tall cabinet thingy that needs screwing in at the bottom. It's a little bit loose at the moment. There's some ceiling downstairs to do, just two little strips. And when the corner thingy arrives, he needs to fit that. But he's done. I've got the key back. It's in the key safe. I've changed the combination. I'm waiting for the massive bag of rubbish to be taken away. Then I can get Lizzie's car back. Tomorrow, the electrician's coming. At some point this week, the painter is coming. At some point, the builder will need to come back and do those four little jobs that I just said. But basically, it's over. Finally. I'm sorry about my rant earlier. Well, I'm not really sorry because I'll undoubtedly do it again. And this is Total Ramblings and it is kind of my place to vent and talk about rubbish. Anyway, I thought I'd update you before I publish this vlog. I'm watching Dune at the moment, the new one, chapter one, part one, whatever. I've got a soft spot for the 1980s version of Dune, but this one is also very good. So uh, I'm going to go back to watching it now. Thanks very much for watching. Bye. If you enjoy what I do here, although I can't think why, please remember to click the like button, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new video. You might also want to check out my website, www.worldsbestestpoet.com, if you fancy a laugh.